My name is Bongi Zhang, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Reading and Language Arts at Syracuse University. Today, I'm really excited to talk about my article titled, Am I a Qualified Literacy Researcher and Educator? A counter story of a professional journey of one Asian male literacy scholar in the United States. Although most of us know that there has been an insignificant increase in the number of minority faculty members in higher ed, little is known about the barriers and challenges encountered during their early career development. In this counter story article, I share my own professional experiences regarding the choices that I made and some obstacles that I faced in developing my own career, including both teaching and research. My counter story is based on two major theoretical frameworks, critical race theory and Asian critical race theory. In my counter story, I describe how I am often labeled as a non-native speaker, which is often associated with less competent and ineffective. I also described how certain words and discourses were imposed on me and how I began to internalize them. One of those discourses were research methods. When I participated in analyzing qualitative data with other American colleagues, I was often marginalized by my lack of cultural, linguistic, and community awareness. However, when I discussed quantitative findings with other colleagues, most of them usually listened to carefully what I said, even from when I was a first year doc student. I still remember that one of my American colleagues told me Gosh, I'm always surprised by Asian people whenever I talk to them about statistics. You guys are excellent in understanding math and statistics. Instead of resisting against those social and racial stereotypes, I decided to confirm them because I felt disempowered due to my anxieties on language difficulty and cultural differences. I hope that my counter story presented in this article can contribute to understanding the conflict and labors that inter any international faculty may face and reframing them as potential assets that we can develop and bring into meaningful literacy practices. Thank you for listening to me today.